All right, so let's try this again. All right, so, all right, what we have here is Unreal World. This is a roguelike RPG survival game that has been uh, in production since 1992. Yes, 1992. This game has been in development, and it is still being updated today by the primarily one guy behind it. Um, the game is set in Iron Age Finland, and it's just about survival. And uh, it's about as hardcore as it gets. What's up, Artie? Yeah, so I've known about this game for many years. I've known about this game for a long time, but I never played it because I thought it would be too hard or too primitive looking or this or that or the other. So I, I, I'm finally gonna, I'm finally taking the plunge and we're finally gonna check it out. So I, I really, I tried to learn, I tried to learn a little bit about it. And so I, I know a little bit about it, but I, I'm, I'm really playing this. This is the first time I'm ever playing it. It's probably going to be bumbling, uh, mess, um, it's probably going to go terribly, but we're going to do it anyway. You know what I mean? So, alright. So again, like I said, it's set in Iron Age Finland, so this is, this is going to be rough. Alright, now, uh, obviously we're going to need to create a character. Uh, we can have quick and easy, we can have custom, we can have custom easy, custom too easy. Now, I don't know what that means. But let's just go with a custom character creation, because you know it's going to be in very in-depth. Alright, so our character name is going to be Odin. Alright. And now we're going to choose a culture. So these are all the different tribes that are occupying Iron Age Finland right here. Um, and you look down at the bottom of the screen there, you can see that these... I, God, I can't pronounce this stuff. Um... We'll call them the Ka uh, Kauma Lice. I don't know. They live in the vast forests. These people live in the southwest coastal area. Uh, these guys have small, loose villages, and they're usually located near... Uh, how do we get to the rest of this? It doesn't tell me. Okay, I don't know how to see the rest of that text. Uh, let's see. Uh, southeast, western coastal area... Uh, these guys right here, southwestern. These guys are farmers. Uh, I don't know what they are. Here's the owl tribe. And then here's the seal tribe. Vast forest, glass of court. Yeah, obviously. Uh, game audio seems a little loud. Is it still loud? Alright, so we're gonna choose... Uh, we're gonna choose the culture that lives in the vast forests. Right. Now we're going to choose our sex. Obviously we're going to be male. And then we can choose our picture. Our, our uh, whatever you want to call it, our, our mug shot. Our, <laughs> our head shot. Right. And again, uh, who, uh, if others could let me know about the audio. I thought we had fixed it. But Artie's saying it's still a little too loud. So if we look through here, we've got a bunch of interesting looking Finnish dudes. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of feeling this look right here. This dude has been working in the coal mines or something. And then we got this guy. Let's go. Let's go with this guy right here. Let's go with this guy. The music I can hear you clearly, but it could be a tad lower. Okay, all right. Looks like a bunch of larpers. <laughs> all right. So now here's something I learned by watching other videos. Most new players are advised to start in summer because whichever season you choose, you actually begin a couple of weeks before that season. So if you choose spring, you're going to start in the winter, and what, what people said is that you're going you're to freeze to death, if that's the case. So if you start in summer, you'll actually start at the end of spring, so that's what we're going to do. Alright, now, it says here you are 16 winters old as you start your journeys. Uh, so we have our appearance, we have our personality, we've got pretty high intelligence and will. We've got a lot of strength, which is fantastic. Endurance is okay. Dex is not so good. Agility and speed are great. Eyesight is eh. Hearing's decent. Smell and taste are eh. Touch is good. Now, our height is 76 inches. I don't know how to divide that by 12 and find out how many feet that is. I'm too bad at math. 193 centimeters for our European people out there. 
Um, we're weighing on 210 pounds, so pretty pretty good weight there. Um, so, your cultural background and startup selections are now completed, and your character profile looks like this. Are you happy with these attributes, or do you want to re-roll? I don't really know what I'm, what I'm looking for, so we're just going to say yeah. Alright, now, there's a little bit of magic in the game, as I understand it. It's not a huge part of the game, is what I've been led to believe. Um, and so... It looks like... Uh, okay, so you start with these spells and magic means to interact and communicate with the spirits and the other world. You'll learn more during your life. Exit the screen when you are ready to continue character creation or take a moment to learn more by bringing the selector over the desired spell to view its description. What's up, Manu? Alright, so... General sacrifice is an all-round way to sacrifice something in order to please or thank the spirits. The bear skull right is if you kill a bear... Uh, you can basically do this kind of right here. And I, I don't know what that's going to do for us, but it'll be alright. Uh, bear hunter's mittens shouldn't be made of whatever material. It is uh, the dog fur mittens you should wear in order to have your weapons to be effective. And cut the bear good. Okay. Yeah, this is from. This is apparently all drawn from Finnish mythology. Uh, greeting the earth upon going to sleep. Uh, okay, so that, that's interesting. Alright. So. We can move forward. So let's hit exit. Alright, so now we look at our skill screen. Now, it says here your character possesses the following selection of cultural and family skills, which can be developed further. Uh, you have number options to assign to the skills you prefer. Select a skill from the list and press plus or minus to improve or degrade it. Alright, so it says the darker section of skill meter bar, if visible, shows your initial skill mastery. Um, I don't know exactly what that means. Your natural aptitude for learning and developing a skill is rated by stars. So, this is determined by your physical and mental attributes and affects the level of skill improvement. Alright, so it says I have five options remaining. Okay? So, apparently what I need to do is I need to choose things that I would like to be... that I would like to, like, specialize in. You know what I mean? Um, so, cookery is going to be important because we got to be able to eat. You know what I'm saying? So something tells me, something tells me that we're going to want to improve this. Alright, so we have four left. Fishing would probably also be important because once you catch that fish, you got to cook it, right? So, I mean, th that seems like it would work hand in hand. So I think fishing would, would be another good idea. Alright, and then trapping, like Cabell said. Uh, trapping would probably also be important, because as I understand it, hunting is very difficult in this game, and that you, you're usually better off trapping, so that's a good point, Cabell. Alright, so now let's look at physical skills. We actually, we're actually very good at most of this stuff, but not swimming. Alright, now down here when it comes to combat, we've got a decent dodge skill. We're decent with a knife, club, axe, spear, bow. We actually, we're, we're actually pretty good with a lot of this stuff. I don't know what my main thing is going to be. I'm assuming a knife is going to be important. But probably also a spear. I don't know if the bow is going to be something we use. Uh, you would choose tracking as well. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah, alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do tracking also. That's, and then the last thing we're going to do is bow. So I want... I want a bow. So now we're actually at the expert level with, with, uh... Oh, did I hit spear? I meant to hit bow. My bad. Hold on, hold on. Did I hit... Yeah, I hit spear accidentally. I meant to hit bow. There we go. So now we're skilled. Um, okay. Daggers are like the norm in Finland. We have dagger making very deep in our... Yeah, we got Manu here, by the way. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube after the fact... Sorry you get to, to miss Manu, or maybe congratulations, but no, I'm just kidding. But uh, Manu is our resident Finnish expert here. Okay, so we're happy with this. Alright, so they're generating the world. Now here's the deal. As I understand it, you can't just click a place and you get to start there. 
you get a random selection and you have to if you don't like that random selection you click somewhere else and it'll go randomly somewhere else but you can't choose the place necessarily all right um now you can also show different things like if we say if we press c we can see the different cultures okay so it would probably make sense for me to be near my culture, but the problem is, because the words are so strange to me, I don't remember what our culture's name was. I know that it was in the vast forests. Our culture was lived in the vast forests, that's all I know. It was not the owl tribe or the seal tribe, I know that. I'm pretty sure these guys are like bad guys. I think that's what someone said in another video, but I don't know. So I think either Kaumo or Kisa or whatever, I think these are, are one of these is probably my tribe. But I don't really know. So here's where it's having me start out, right here on the coast. I don't know if that's a good starting place or not. You know what I mean? So what I'm gonna do... This is what I'm gonna do. If you press H... Oh shit, what up, Smokey? Thank you very much for resubbing. That's a seven-month streak. Can you see... Yes, this is this is just the, the far, far, far overworld map. Um... So I'm going to press H because it says start within your home culture. And that this is our home culture and this is where we're going to start right here. Alright, now we can zoom in. We can zoom in a little, you know what I'm saying? So this is going to be our starting point and there's a, some bodies of water very close by, so that's going to be good. Alright, and yeah, I think you can smoke. Uh, so we're going to start within our home culture, we're going to use that as our start, and we're going to enter and play this world. Folks, here goes nothing. All right, so now you can select a startup scenario. Now, the videos I were looking at, I, I were looking at, I was looking at, they only, I thought they only had like three startup scenarios, but there's a, there's a lot right here. What's up, right? And don't worry, I'll turn down the game audio once I get into the damn game and I can adjust it. Um, so, you can start playing at the middle of a wide, unfamiliar wilderness, start playing outside a strange village, uh, you could be a runaway slave. You could do the unfortunate hunting trip where your father dies on the ground and the beast who killed him is still present. And so we got all these different options here. Now, I want... Agriculture? Well, I'm, I'm not really prepared for agriculture. I'm not really prepared for agriculture. What I am prepared for is hunting and gathering. Um, so I think we're going to go... I think we're gonna go with unfortunate hunting trip so we can add a little bit of drama here. What's up Dresden84, how you doing? So we click on unfortunate hunting trip and here's the bear, right? So basically I don't, I'm not gonna read this whole book, okay? Uh, what's up Kelmir? Uh, but basically let's, let's get the idea. Me and my father and some other hunters, we went out hunting. After a week, uh, my father decided to take me back home, um, and we agreed. So me and my father had been heading back home for two days when we found a fresh half-eaten elk carcass. Uh, basically what happened is, the forest was very silent for a moment, then a cry of my father, and a bear got him. And my father comes back bleeding badly, and he says, son, you must go. It's, uh, your father whispered, then he was gone. He's, I guess he's gonna say, it's a bear. Alright, so selecting this scenario gives you immediate fighting experience. If you manage to kill the beast or even escape from it, you are on your own in the middle of the wide, unfamiliar environment. The equipment of your late father may become very useful to you if you manage to pick them up. So this actually sounds like it's going to be a very difficult start, and I don't know if I should do it. I don't know if I should do it. Doing alright, Kelmir. Should we do this start? We have to start immediately to either fighting a bear or running away from a bear. I don't think I like this. I don't think I like this. Let's go back. Let's just go with the Unreal World. Let's just go playing in the middle of a wide, unfamiliar wilderness. Let's just do it. Okay, so at 16 I left my home. Um, I went far away. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so we're bit, we're just out in the wilderness doing our thing. 
All right, it says this scenario doesn't give you any advantages or disadvantages or even a clear plot to start playing. It just simply sends you on your way into the Unreal world. So, that's that seems ideal, but you really think so, Kilmer? All right, all right, let's it. Let's just do it. All right, we're going to use this scenario. Okay, this is what I was thinking about earlier with the three options. I want to do Living in the Wild. This allegedly gives you like a set of tutorial steps of things to do. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this. Look a bear. Skyrim beginning. Yeah. So it says test to teach you the basics of wilderness survival and to test your survival skills as you roam across the land and explore the wide world. So we're going to go with Living in the Wild. All right. So character creation is completed. Odin Kamalainen or something is about to enter Unreal World. The world will surely teach one, if nothing else, than to walk slowly. Okay. Uh, bruh, in those times, if a Finn had a choice between seeing a bear and fighting ten tanks at the same time, he'd choose the latter. Well, thank you for letting me know that once we've already chosen. Okay. Thank you, Mon. Okay. So, um, this just kind of gives us some mythology type stuff. This is the encyclopedia. And you can basically learn all the lore about all the stuff in the game. Again, it's based on Finnish mythology. Now, here's the first-timer info. You are about to enter the Unreal World for the first time with this character. When the game starts, press Escape to view keyboard commands and help. Uh, and then this game encyclopedia can be started anytime by pressing F1. Alright? Now, let's exit. Alright. We've got our scenario that we know about. And here we are, loading into the game. All right, now remember, I chose the thing that's going to give us tasks to complete. So I think that's what this is right here, the current task. All right. Hey, what's up, Cost? How's it going, man? Okay, water is essential. Explore your surroundings until you find a source of fresh water like a lake or even a pond. Then take a big gulp of fresh water and start out again with new strength. In the winter, it won't be so easy. You'll need to use your fishing skill to make a hole in the ice. If you're wondering what's in a certain location, you can take a look and examine it if it's within your field of vision. Now, it says related key commands. Q will lowercase q because there is case sensitivity here. Lowercase q is to quaff or to drink. And lowercase l or f3 is to look at things. All right. Okay. Now. This is a list of the tasks, so we can basically choose which one we want to look at, I think. Uh, or we have to start with this one, I don't know. Um, okay, it says there are several ways to accomplish each task, so we'll work on this. Okay, so F5 takes us to this task screen, so we'll remember that. Exit and continue the game. Uh, I guess escape. There we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are looking at... We are looking at the game. Okay. Um, now, let's try to understand exactly what's going on here. We got the world here, and then we have our log that tells us what's going on right here. Okay. Love the profile pics. Yeah, I, I, I dig what this guy's got going on here, hair wise. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, so. Branches bend and curve above your head here in the majestic temple of the ageless forest as you take a closer look at this area. Now, let, I don't, I didn't know that there was mouse support, but there is. And it looks like we can actually zoom in and out with the mouse, right, which is cool. Now, as for moving the map around, I don't know if we can do that. It says the game is controlled mainly by keyboard commands. So you can press escape or question mark to see the list of the commands. Now, I know... I'm pretty sure you use the arrow keys to move, I think anyway. Uh, Majestic Temple of the Ages Forest, fuck yes, yeah. But let's press escape, and let's look at the keyboard commands. Uh, so looking at the movement, we can actually use, oh, we can actually use the, uh, the num keys here. So that's interesting, all right. Uh, so you can use the numpad or the cursor keys, uh, the movement may seem tricky at first because apparently whenever you press forward you move or when you press up You move in whatever direction the character is facing. I think that's what it is 
Capital R is run, H is hide, U is get up or lay down, wait, uh, Z is sleep. Okay, so this is this is good stuff to know. We can pick things up with G or with the comma. Uh, I'm just trying to see the important stuff. I for inventory, W for wield, A is use, E is eat something. Okay. And when it comes to combat, 1 is attack with first weapon, 2 is attack with second, uh, 0 is kick, 9 is punch, T is to throw something or shoot an arrow. Alright, 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 I've got a decent idea of what's going on here. Alright, so we can see that it's summer, it's morning, we're in the heathland. Uh, I don't know exactly what these bars represent just yet. Um, we are nourished. Apparently we're not hungry or thirsty, or maybe we are, I don't know what that means. We're comfortably warm, vigorous, we don't have any wielded weapons or tools. Let's actually go into our inventory. We have a knife, and we have a hand axe. Okay. Uh, it says the hand axe is used in timber work. And then we have a rough mace, which is a reinforced club. Uh, we've got armor that we are wearing. Alright. Uh, we've got some rope for our tools, and we've got some bread and some hair. Uh, and the hair is already roasted, which is fantastic. All right, so let's... Remember, we're starting with this whole bear thing going on. So let's switch to our mace, I guess. Uh, oh, I gotta press W. Or click here. How do I, how do, I do this? Uh, do I press Enter, maybe? Oh, hold on. The applicable weapon skill for the mace is club. Weapon classification of the mace gives it a decent bonus to attack and very little bonus to defense. The applicable weapon skill for the mace is club. All right. I don't know how to wield it again. How do I how do I how do I do that? It says mouse click or press enter. But that says to examine. That says to examine. It doesn't say to wield. Like, it should be here, you know what I mean? I don't know what, what's going on there. I know that I'm examining it. There's gotta be a different, there's gotta be a different key, maybe. All right, let's press W from here. That doesn't make a difference. Uh, that could be a problem, people. That could be a problem. Let's, uh, let's see about movement first. What's up, the Dominator? Yeah, I'm pressing W and nothing's happening. Uh, is it capital W? Nope. All right, let's see if we can move. We actually can't move. Oh, check it out. I'm sorry. We're stuck here on this message. Okay, now we're not stuck on the message. Let's press W. There we go. There we go. Sorry, folks. I'm an idiot and you know this. Press space first. Thank you, Dominator. All right, so now we've got the rough mace. Now let's try movement. All right, so that moves down. That moves up. Uh, now, can we turn without moving? Yes, we can. So we can look around like so. All right, now there is our father's corpse, obviously. Um, so let's move this way. And then... It says we see two rocks. I guess I have to be on top of the thing I'm looking for. So I'm going to try to move onto the corpse. There we go. There are several objects here. Two smoked forest reindeer cuts. Four smoked something cuts. Five smoked hazel grouse cuts. A spear, a hunting knife, some rope, a wooden mug, and six more things. So probably want to loot that, right? So we're going to have to figure out exactly how to do that. Um... Let's press escape and look at the keyboard commands again. And let's see. And again, I apologize that I'm probably going to spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to play. Um, but that's how it is. Okay. Uh, da, 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 spells, armor. Interacting, you'd think is be where it is, right? Open, chat, build a fire, close a door. 
make items, eat something, move items. All right, I guess G, right, just to pick something up. I guess that's what we'll do. All right, so let's press G. Ah, all right, so now we see the list of things. So we're going to take a spear. We're going to take a longbow and 12 arrows. We're going to take all of them. Um, and I guess we might as well take his clothes. You know what I mean? I don't know about the mug. I guess that could be... I mean, used to carry water, maybe. I will take it. And I want all the food. Uh, now he's got... Now the carcass, that's his carcass. I don't think we want that. Let's take the rope, too. Alright. So you can see down there in the bottom right, we picked all that stuff up. So we have actually... We actually have a ton of food right now. We actually have a ton of food, which is kind of crazy. Um, Alright. So now we just basically need to find some water, because that was the first task they gave us. Now, there is a way, this is like the zoomed in map, there is a way to zoom out a little more, and you'll move on the world map a little more quickly, but allegedly you'll use more energy, and you'll get hungrier and thirstier because you'll be moving over larger distances. Uh, so you're playing a Stormworm simulator now. Interesting. Yeah, what's up, Stormworm? Um, okay, so... To, all right, let me make sure I know exactly how. Uh, da, 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 da. I need to know how to how to do the the zoom out to the world thing here. Where it, where the hell is that? Looking. All right, now you can zoom in and out, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for here. I've seen this game before, but I have no idea how it plays. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. Again, I don't know how to zoom out, like, to the, the world map thing. I, I, I'm... What happens if we click this? Press it. No, that's just for the list of commands. Uh, all right. Anyway, we got to find some water. Again, it would be much more helpful if I could see... The, the damn world map. Um, let's, but let's move. Let's just go west. So we're moving around here. We're moving around. And down there on the bottom right in the, the log, it's going to tell me if we encounter anything. Uh, or at least I hope it will. So there's a pine block in your way. So it turns out we got to avoid that tree. And there's a bunch of trees blocking me there. Now, what is that? What the hell is that? All right, there are some rocks. All right, there's a big rock. Okay, it's a, it's a big rock. Uh, I know you can build a house and get attacked by a bear. Oh, yeah, and trade with other people. All right, so again... Maybe you can't world map because you just started. It could be, but again, I could have sworn there's there's something you press to, to do that, uh, but I don't see it in the options, and uh, it's all right. Okay, looks like we got some mushrooms or something over there, and then there's something down here. This is a branch, okay? I'm just trying to get familiar with uh, what we're seeing on the map. Oh, we're blocked right there, apparently. Okay. Uh, F6, F6, F6 for map of known areas? Okay. All right, so that's me. Um, you can see the cultural regions. Now, yeah, this shows, yeah, this doesn't, this is not exactly what I was thinking of, but this is something. This is something. Okay. But that's that's not that's not what I'm looking for, but that that is something good to know about. 
Dude, we are having a lot of trouble finding water. I could have sworn there was water to the southwest at the very least. I really thought there was water down here. Alright, loading map. We are now in a coniferous forest. And I, I think there's some bushes up here that we might be able to harvest some berries or something from. You see four growing blueberry shrubs. It could be harvested after a couple of months. So I guess it's not ready to harvest. Yeah, it says they're growing. So they're not they're not quite ready. But that's good to know. Um now here's something I learned while doing some research. Well, I obviously did not do enough research, but something I did learn is that apparently wild animals will frequent places where there are abundant food sources like this so a place where there's a bunch of blueberry bushes might be a good place to set up um but i i, I have to be near a water source and the fact that we still haven't found one is starting to really concern me Hmm. Okay. Let's take a real... I wonder if the, enci the psycho encyclopedia probably won't tell us anything. Let's see if this would... I don't. Th like I said, I don't think this will tell us anything, but... Let's see if they have something about a map. I don't, I don't think so. This is more... Yeah, This that, that's not what we're looking for. Um. Okay, let's go here. Let's look at the commands one more time. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just overlooking it. Let's go back to the top. There it, oh geez, man. It's right there. It's right there. It's enter. Okay, it's enter. Now this is what I was talking about. So this is a more zoomed out map. You can still use this to move around. But again, it, it, it's like you're moving farther each step. So you use more resources, that kind of thing. But this is how we're going to try to find some water. There's some water right over there. All right, so let's zoom back in. Okay, we are now in a lichenous pine forest. Okay. So let's move in. And again, we've got like the fog of war thing going on, so I look around every now and again. Keeps There's rocks all over the place. That's nice. I'm not seeing any bushes. I'm not seeing like blueberry bushes. There's also some other like langan berries, which I don't even know what those are. What is this stuff? You see a patch of two growing unusual grasses. Unusual grasses. All right, let's keep going west. It's a little difficult to navigate the trees, but it's all right. All right, we're still nourished and everything, and that seems all right. Hunger and thirst don't say anything still. So I'm pretty sure we're doing all right. Now oh, this water is further away than I thought. Let's do this. All right, we're back in the heathland here. Wow, the difference the difference in the scale from this map to the other is tremendous. All right, now here's a bunch of shrubs. These are lingonberry shrubs, which I guess is edible. That's uh lingonberry also. That is lingonberry. Okay, so those scrubs, that's good to know. That's good to know. I I still haven't reached that lake. Or whatever the hell it is. Hold on. We are so... We've got to be there now. Yeah, man. Haven't you ever been to Ikea? 
Believe it or not, I have never set foot in an Ikea. All right, we finally found some water. Now, this looks like a lake, so we should be able to drink from it, no problem. Um, so to drink, let's review. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is that? Is it... Maybe it's going to be capital G? No, probably not. Oh, you know what? It, to it tells me here. Q. Q. Drink from the natural source. There we go. Task completed. That actually doesn't surprise me. Ikea hot dogs are pretty good. Oh, they, they got hot dogs? Oh, yeah? All right. You can stay alive without food for weeks, but unless you have water, you will die of dehydration in days. Yeah. Congratulations. You have successfully accomplished this task. All right, so we want to work on, um... okay, now it's going to tell us to do a closer look. You can zoom in and out. Yeah, so, oh, so it was going to teach me this anyway. All right. So they want us to zoom in and out. So we just did that. We accomplished that task. Again, I chose this. You don't have to do this every time you play. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I chose it so that I can learn. You are now on a zoomed-in local terrain map. Take some time to explore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So next is going to be picking up. On the zoomed-in maps, you can find items such as branches, fallen trees, stones. Depending on the season and the terrain type, you may also find natural food like mushrooms and berries. All of this is picked up the same way. Now try and pick up something you find nearby on the ground. Uh, so we use G to do that, or capital G if it's in an adjacent tile. So this is a growing black currant bush. Apparently not ready to be harvested. So let's go grab a, a rock. So you see a rock here, we'll press G. You pick up the rock. All right, there you go. Remember that carrying heavy loads slows down physical skill use and makes movement and combat more difficult. All right, next is make a fire. Um, dun, dun, dun. All right, that's your next task. Find and pick up branches. Drop them where you wish to build a fire. Use your temper craft skill to cut branches from a tree, or you can even set fire to a dry fallen tree. To place heavy trunks or a pile of firewood to a location you wish to build a fire, you can use the push items command. Finally, use a build fire command. All right, this is going to be this is going to be difficult. D to drop. P to push them to an adjacent tile. S to view the skills. F to build the fire. All right, so I have, I have a hand axe. So I'm assuming I can use the hand axe on the tree. You know what I mean? So let's try that. So we're gonna hit two, and then where is your enemy is over here. There are no living creatures. Okay, apparently that's not how you do it. So let's press S to go to skills. Um. And go to Timbercraft. So Timbercraft is M. So it says using Timbercraft. And then you see the options there. Fell a tree, chop the felled tree into blocks, split the firewood. So let's fell a tree. To do this, you need the following equipment, materials, and or articles. Axe. Well, I have... Oh, I guess a hand axe is not going to do it. Well, it says I have the necessary equipment. Oh, there we go. All right, now you now notice what happened. Our hunger went up. Our thirst came up a little. We are now sweaty. Uh, we have half fatigue filled. And then we've got these penalties. And the penalties are coming from what we're carrying and our fatigue. All right. Odin is finally sweaty. It, yeah, it was bound to happen eventually. All right, so now we have this log in front of us, right? So what we can do basically is go back to, uh, whoops, that's the wrong button. Go back to our skills, go to timber craft, and then split fire. Well, we need blocks. Then we can split the firewood from a block. So let's do this. All right, now, now. While we're working, this is interesting, while we're working on this, 
a willow grouse enters our view. So a grouse, if I'm not mistaken, it's like a rabbit, isn't it? Is it some kind of rabbit or some kind of rodent? I don't know what it is. Anyway, so some, some sort of creature, maybe that's it, entered our view. And so it's asking me, do you want to abort the task to go after that damn thing? Or do you want to keep doing what you're doing? I have a shitload of food right now. I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm going to say abort task, no. All right. So now we have chopped the felled tree into these blocks. Now we can make firewood, but the problem is our fatigue is really high. So what we're going to want to do is rest. Now you'll notice if we go back here to the keyboard commands, when it comes to resting, there's two options. Let's see, where is it? Um, where is the rest stuff? Why do I keep... Okay, yeah. So you can rest with just dash hyphen or you can risk until you are not fatigued with alt hyphen so let's try alt hyphen and we rested now all our fatigue is gone we're ready to do some more work also look up here the time of the day is noon okay so we're going to go back to our skills go back to timber craft and we're going to say split firewood from a block push in the right direction there we go. Now, we made 20 decent firewoods here, okay? Now, we should be able to make a fire by standing next to it, I think. So let's try F. I think it's capital F, no it's not. Let's just try F. Where to build a fire? Uh, yeah, so we're gonna click to the right. You did not succeed in making a fire. Now, I don't know if that's just like a percentage of failure thing or if I'm doing something wrong. Let's try it one more time. You did not succeed. All right, we're probably doing something wrong. So let's go back here. Okay, so to place heavy trunks or a pile of firewood to a location you wish to build a fire, we've already done that. Finally, use build a fire command to light up. I wonder, do I need, can I be on top of this? Okay, maybe I have to be on top of it to make the fire. I don't know. Let's see what happens. No, because you have to press in some kind of direction. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe we're just failing. Let's try it again. You managed to make a fire. All right. Okay, it keeps you warm during cold weather, obviously. And it'll burn as long as it has enough fuel. To feed the burning fire, you need to occasionally move some wood or some burnable item onto the fire. All right, cool. Next task. Cookery. Okay, so... The most simple recipe is just to roast raw fish or meat over the campfire. While the food is being cooked, and if you don't have anything else to do, you can use the wait or rest commands to kill some time. Your nose will tell you when the food is ready, so be ready to cancel your lazy time, or you will burn the food. All right. So, uh, so we go to skills. All right, we've got a fire going. Now, do we have? Do we have? Is my question. Raw meat. Oh, it says, hold up. It says a game course event is coming up. I don't know what this means. Let's find out. You got a fresh pike. Oh, oh, I guess it gave me a fish so I have something to cook. What up, Gernzo? Um, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to our skills. We're going to go to cookery. And we're going to say fish recipes. See if we have anything. We, we can make fish soup, it says. Um, but I don't know if you need... We probably need, like, water. Let's see what happens if I select this. Oh, it tells you what you need. It tells you everything for the recipe. That's cool. Okay, I don't have any of that stuff. So let's escape. All right. I'm sweating a lot, which is... I mean, it's warm. It's temperate. I'm standing next to a huge fire. Of course, I'm sweating. Anyway... Okay, so again, to just cook regularly, here's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to go to skills, cookery, and we're just going to say roast. So all you need is raw meat and fish and a fire. So here's our pike. There's our raw meat or fish. You have all the necessary equipment. Press space, and we'll cook it. We have cooked the fish. Oh, Ugh, okay. Hey, what's up, Warstein? 
Okay, so raw meat and fish will spoil pretty quickly if not cooked. Um, well, we cooked it. There you go. Next task. All right, now they want us to fell a tree, which we have already done. We have cooked a fish, y'all. NASA cheering. <laughs> Roast the fish. Fish, you're so fat you can't get a mate. <laughs> All right. So we have to fell a tree, which we've already done before, but we'll do it again. So let's go. Oh, I think I need to pick that fish up. The roasted pike will be ready in a few hours. You may not pick it up yet. Ah, okay. It's not ready yet. So let's go ahead and go back to our skills. Go to timber craft and fell a tree. There we go. All right, so you can continue processing the tree you just felled with your Timbercraft skill. Uh, notice that not every felled tree is suitable for every purpose. The main difference is whether your the trunk is slender or a big full-sized one. You hear that? Size matters. Uh, when working with lumber, the type of axe used often has a major influence on the required working time and quality of the result. All right, All right so this is going to be our next task. But first, let's take a quick break. Uh, I'm going to go heat up my coffee like I always do. Thank you guys for hanging out. I will be back in just one minute, so don't go anywhere, and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. All right, and then if you're if you're just joining us, we're playing Unreal World. It's a hardcore roguelike RPG that has been in active development since 1992. And it is set in Iron Age, Finland. All right. So we're working our way down this task list. Yeah, 28 years in development. All right. So um, we can make various items. Um, they want us to make something. Um, so it says you might try an easy piece of woodwork. Um, so we're going to do that. So if we do uh, capital M, these are the handcraft options. We have wood, I think, or we can get some pretty quickly. Actually, we have some rope. What is this? Let's join our ropes, because we picked uh, some rope off our father's corpse. Um, and then we had our own. So let's try to join them. Now, they are of different quality. I don't know if that matters. So, now select another rope to join them together. After, trying, after tying the ropes, the, ropes, the ropes together, you now got a 30-foot rope. Um, you are very hungry, and you are a bit thirsty. So, you can see we're very hungry now. So, what we're going to do is go to our inventory. And we have, we've got a roasted hair, so we're going to eat that. Uh, oh, that's not how you eat. That's not how you eat. <laughs> Hold on. You eat, I think it was an E? Yeah, what do you want to eat? Roasted haircut. All right, now you can see that our hunger went way down. Way down. Our nutrition is still good. Our thirst is not bad. All right, now I need to make something. Uh, I made the rope, but I don't know if it dropped on the ground or if I have it. I think I, I guess I have it, right? Yeah, I have it now, but that did not complete our quest. So it says, I guess we gotta do woodwork. So let's do this. Let's chop the felled tree into blocks. There is not any big tree trunk to work with. Oh, there isn't? What is this then? Look around. Yeah, I wanna look there. You see three slender tree trunks. Okay, okay. Uh, all right, so let's go. Split a trunk into boards. There is no suitable big tree trunk to work with, so it has to be a small one. All right, let's 
let's chop this damn tree down. All right, now let's rest real quick. All right, we rested. It's the early evening. It smells like the roasted pike is burning soon. And I'm hungry again. So we're going to grab the pike. Press E. And we're going to eat that roasted pike. There we go. Now back up to this log here. Go back to Timbercraft and let's again split a trunk into boards. The hand axe is a tolerable tool, so I need a better axe. But as you can see, I'm very hungry, very thirsty, and very tired. In fact, I'm laying down on the damn ground. I am too tired to stay on my feet. Now, we gotta eat and drink before we uh, before we go to sleep, I'm guessing. So if I go to eat, we haven't eaten all of the pikes, so we're gonna eat some more. Now I wanna drink some water, but I don't know if I can move right now. Okay, I can, I can, thank God. So we're gonna drink from this natural source. All right, now, now we're going to hope that nothing kills us during the night as we sleep by the fire. Now, is there a specific key for sleeping as opposed to resting? Uh, that's what I need to know. Yes, capital Z. So here goes nothing. Oh god, it's raining. <sighs> yeah, just crawling, rolling around. All right, as you can see, we're a little hungry. Not especially hungry yet, but it's going to be very soon. We're sweaty, even though it's raining. All right, we still need to craft something woodwork-wise out of this stuff here. So what we can do is, I guess now we can go to carpentry and be like, you know what? You know what? I probably need to pick that stuff up, but let's just check. Let's try it. Well, we don't have the stuff to make it. How about a wooden... How about a wooden shovel? I don't know exactly what good a shovel's going to do us, but maybe we can do that. Nope. Well, actually, yes, we do have this stuff. You need the following equipment material. Yeah, we have... Oh, we don't... Okay, we got to pick it up, probably. All right, that's great. Let me grab... Let's grab, uh, you know what? Let, hold up. Let's grab 24 branches. And now, okay, let me revisit this. So if we look at our inventory here, we have 24 branches. I wish there was a way to see what you could make with this. Maybe you can. Let me press enter. Only weapons, armors, and clothes can be examined. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, that's okay. Hey, we can make a staff, it looks like. Craft. Uh, let's make one. To do this, you need the following. A cutting weapon and a slender trunk. And it was right next to us, so we used it. There we go. I have to go. All right, Cabell. Thanks for hanging out, man. See you later. All right. Sometimes when you're unable to buy or trade, you'll have to make it yourself. Okay. Our next task is fishing. Okay. You can fish with a fishing rod, a spear, or even a club. Uh, you can fish passively by using nets. Find a suitable water area, like a lake or a river, and use your fishing skill. Before going fishing, you may want to eat some food if you have any, as it's more comfortable to wait for a catch on a full stomach. 
a game course event is coming up. You got a fishing rod. Now this doesn't normally happen unless you choose this particular like kind of tutorial-ish game mode. So now I have a fishing rod. I guess it's under tools. Yep. All right. So we're gonna we gotta eat first. All right, so now we've eaten. Let's go to the water, right? And then we're gonna want to fish. Um, now we go to skills, we go to fishing, and we can do active, set a net, retrieve a net, make a hole in the ice. Let's actively fish. Um, what are we gonna use? We're gonna use a fishing rod. And there we go. This motherfucker will read an 800 page game manual tutorial about fishing, but won't read some lore dialogue. Because lore is not important. This is important. Knowing how to play the game is important. Knowing that some bear god had sex with like a, a toucan god or goddess, and they had a unicorn baby. I, I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? But press, you know, press capital G to grab something from an adjacent tile. I mean, anyway. All right. Okay, so we've done that. Next. Shelter in the woods. Okay, we finally are going to start working on shelter because this is something that we desperately need. All right, sometimes it's useful to build yourself a shelter. Sometimes. Um, okay, you need to find a good place. Make a shelter by using your building skill. After your shelter is finished, you may want to sleep there a night or two. Okay. So, we caught some fish. Let's pick it up. So we, we pick up a pike. Our fire is gone. So what we want to do is make some, some more firewood. Uh, actually, let's not worry about the fire just yet. Let's not worry about it just yet. Hold up. We're going to go to building, and we're going to go with shelter um now i like where we're at we got water just a couple paces away we've got shrubs to our east right there with some berries on them and shit so that should draw animals i i think we should be good bears fucking unicorns interesting no i think the bear fucked the toucan and then the toucan gave birth to a unicorn all right Let's make our shelter here. Okay, so you need a cutting weapon, and you need a slender trunk, and then you need spruce twigs. So it says the two slender tree trunks nearby will be used. Okay. But we need spruce twigs apparently as well. Branch doesn't work as a slender trunk. It said it was going to use nearby shit, right? That's not going to work. Can I pick the, the slender trunk up? Yeah, I picked him up. Obviously, that's a hell of a lot of weight, but it's okay. Let's try to build again. I have a cutting weapon. I have a slender trunk. It says select an item to use. But that doesn't why why doesn't it why doesn't it put the slender trunk there? All right, let's, this is confusing. Let's try something. Let's try to cut twigs. What kind of tree is this? A young pine. We need spruce twigs, it said. I'm guessing that's a pine as well. Oh, I can just run into it to find out what it is. 
There's a spruce right there. Cut branches, twigs from a tree. All right, they are lying beside you on the ground. 18 spruce twigs. We just need two more. We just need two more. There we go. We got a ton of spruce twigs. We also have a slender trunk. We got two of them right there. We've got a cutting utensil. We should be able to do this. We should be able to do this. Let's make it right here. It doesn't matter. It still says I need to select a slender trunk. It says the two slender tree trunks in your inventory will be used. Oh, I finally saw it. I need three trunks. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. All right. So now we should be able to get more slender tree trunks. There we go. We are carrying so much weight. Look at our penalty for the weight we're carrying. It's a hundred, negative hundred percent. You are not able to move. So I'm just going to make this place right here, man. There's everything. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so they're telling us we probably want to get some firewood and food and put it near the shelter. Um, it says it also wouldn't hurt to spend part of the evening gathering some food, fish, or berries for the next few days as you now have a camp to return to for when night falls. Gotcha. All right, next it's going to tell us about spells. You should be aware that there are supernatural spirits, guardians, and dwellers in the Unreal world. Um... Now review your spells and magic and perform one of them, but don't select it randomly. The spells, sacrifices, and incantations you perform should always be chosen to reflect your recent deeds or the present situation. And that's going to be F4. So there's our spells again. What we're probably going to do is do a general sacrifice. Just... Just try to smooth things out with the, the supernatural world and be like, look, we're cool. I'm going to give you some shit. You're going to be cool to me. You're going to give me a, a bountiful harvest of things. Everything's going to be great. So we're going to choose that. Now it says, what do you want to sacrifice? Well, I could sacrifice the pike that I just caught. So I'm going to choose that. And we did it. So it is advised to pay attention to mythology information and spell descriptions at some point. All right. Now, the next thing is tracking. Now, we're going to we're going to work on tracking next, but first I just want to gather some stuff, some firewood and some other things together before we worry about this. Um, but basically, let's try and figure out what it's about. Tracks are easiest to find on zoomed in maps. But the skill can also be used on the wilderness scale map. You'll probably need to search several places to find a trail. Um, okay, cool. Alright, so again, okay, a game course event is coming up, so they're going to give me something. You have improved in tracking. Alright, nice. Alright, let's eat something. And let's get a drink of water also. All right. We need to rest a little bit also because we've got some fatigue built up. So we rest until the fatigue is gone. All right. Now we're going to need... We're going to need firewood. So, uh, I, I hit the wrong thing. Canceled. 
So we have boards there, I think. Can I get firewood from a... This might not be the right thing. Yeah, there's no blocks of wood. Okay, so I gotta have the blocks. All right, I gotcha. I gotcha. There's no big tree trunk to... What are these things? Oh, those are those are all boards. Okay, so that's not going to help us. All right, that's fine. All right, that's a pine. It's not young, so we should get a big trunk from this. All right. Uh, too fatigued to continue. You need to take a break. Shit, man. All right. All right, we're a little hungry again. All right, meanwhile, a willow grass enters your view. I'm not going to abort my task to go after it. All right, let's, let's get back to work on this. All right, that's done. Our fatigue went nuts again. So we'll take care of that. It's late evening, so we're going to have to sleep very soon. But let's see if we can chop this into blocks real quick. All right. Okay, you made eight decent blocks of wood. Great. Let's go to sleep. You're not able to move. Oh, because I'm carrying so much shit, I forgot. I totally forgot. All right, now I believe D drops things. Let's see. Maybe, maybe capital D? Nope, nothing drops it from here. Uh, maybe I have to press D out here. Yeah, here we go. What do you want to drop? Oh, I forgot to put those other clothes on. All right, now, okay, now we can move again. No, we can't because I'm too fatigued. Let's rest a little bit. All right, now we should be able to do it. And sleep. All right, man. I think, what is this, the th third day? I think? All right. All right, we're hungry and a bit thirsty. You know, the food situation is kind of rough, man. Um, drink some water. Okay, back to what we were doing. So in front of us, the three slender tree trunks. I. That's the ones I dropped. Okay. And then we have in front of us now eight blocks of wood. Right, that's what we want. We're going to go to timber craft and split the firewood from a block. Uh, yeah. And it's raining. That's okay. Uh, the rain has stopped. Uh, you made 23... Wait, a grouse is a bird, isn't it? I thought it was like a rodent or something. It's a bird, isn't it? I'm an idiot. Whatever. Alright, so I made 23 decent firewoods. So I'm going to pick all of that up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it down right here. So drop that down so it'll just be there ready to go. Um, again, I need to go into my inventory. And now this is something we haven't seen yet. So these shoes that I selected... Oh, it kind of, it tells you, it tells you what kind of protection it gives you against different types of attacks. That's really cool, man. And what kind of insulation it gives you. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So that was how you examine. Now, how do you put them on? That's a different question.
wield a weapon, apply a tool or container, drop, where is capital W? Why is that red? What, what does that mean? What does that red mean? All right, we're going to put these fine linen trousers on, the fine metal cloak, and the fine leather shoes. You cannot wear leather shoes. Oh, because I'm already wearing... Oh, red is what you're wearing. Can I take that? How do I take that off? All right, hold on. Let's put those on. Now I got to figure out how to take something off. Take off worn clothes is capital T. All right, we took off the footwear. And now we're going to put on the fine leather shoes. There we go. All right, so now we got some decent clothing. Uh, I need a little more firewood, I think. Man, I, I really need a better axe. Um, I really do. All right, tree falls down. We're fatigued. We're going to rest until we're back to uh, normal. There we go. It's early afternoon. We're hungry again. Smoke some grouse. There we go. Or eat some smoked grouse. Chop the tree into blocks. Make the blocks into firewood. There we go. Pick up that firewood. And I'm going to get the branches too. All right, hungry again. See, this is what I'm saying. The, the food situation, man. We're going to need lots of food quickly. All right, I need to drop... The firewood all of it all right so now we've got lots of firewood right there on the ground that's good and all right so now let's fish again real quick let me let me rest a little bit I didn't mean to rest that long but okay all right fish on a full stomach let's also drink Go to fishing, active fishing, use the fishing rod. All right, let's see what happened. You didn't manage to catch any fish. You need to sleep. You can't stay awake much longer. Damn. All right. Uh, we're going to wake up hungry as shit. Should probably eat something real quick. All right, and I'm a bit hungry. It doesn't it doesn't even matter? It doesn't matter. All right. What are we gonna do about food, man? I'm about to starve to death, most likely. What are we gonna do about food? I thought fishing would be all right for now. Forage berries. That's a good point, Smokey. If we can find some berries that are ready to be picked, I don't know. Let's see. See, it says there's four growing lingonberry shrubs. It can be harvested after several months. Can I harvest it now, though? It isn't ripe for harvesting yet, so we have to find one that's ready. Not ready. Yeah, none of these are ready yet. Yeah, none of those. Okay. Ah, shit. Yeah, not ready. Let's. Well, okay. Well, let's hold on. Let's see if we can make a trap yet. There's lots of grouses around here. I don't know how you... I guess it's grouses, right? It's not grease. <laughs> grease is the word, is the word. Um. Okay, a light lever trap 
gives a trap for small animals such as hares and grouses. That's what we're going to want. Oh, I don't want to place it right here. Hold on. I don't even know if I can make it yet, but... Anyway, I'm assuming... I don't know where the grouse would be going to. Again, I just generally think that animals are attracted to where the shrubs and stuff are because there's edible stuff. Let's go right here. And do a light lever, lever trap. Ah, shit. Okay. I need a slender trunk. I've got the branches. And I need a stone. So I need a slender trunk and a stone. Okay. There's a stone right there. I mean, that's a rock? Is that the same as stone? I mean, I, I guess. And then these should be slender trunks. I want to take one. Let's hope that that rock is going to suffice, but I don't think it is. I really don't think it is. You need stone. Will two rocks work? Rock doesn't work as stone. Shit. Okay, so, okay. Is there like a masonry? How, how do we get stone? Oh! Here's a big rock. Could I maybe, wait, what is this? This is a stone. Okay, so rocks are small, stones are large. Gotcha. There's another one right here. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I don't know what you guys think about this, but I think this is fucking fantastic. I, I am loving the shit, shit out of this game. Yeah, grouses, I think there's some kind of bird. I, I I don't know. No one's answered me on that yet. All right. The light lever trap is now set and ready. Don't forget to check it after a day or two. It is indeed a bird. Nice. Thank you, Right. Let's put another trap... I should have enough to make another one. Right? Oh, I, I have to get another trunk. That's right. Shit. There, got it. All right, so we got two traps set up. Um, this is getting really bad. This is getting really bad. We're gonna try fishing again. Gotta catch something. You didn't manage to catch any fish. You do hear willow grouse cooing in the northeast. Is the plural grouses, though? Grouses is right. Okay. Let's try it again. You didn't manage to catch any fish, and now it's late afternoon. All right. Hmm. Shit, man. All right. All right, so let's work. I guess let's try the tracking then, because... You don't notice any tracks around here. So let's go up here and try it again. 
don't notice any tracks. Let's go over here. Don't notice any tracks. Still no tracks anywhere. No tracks. All right. Let's zoom out. Let's go. Let's go real far away. Don't notice any tracks son of a bitch now here's the thing I don't know if the tracks are visible if you just get close to them and then you do the tracking skill to see where they lead or if you will never see the tracks until you do the skill and they happen to be there I don't know which I don't know how that works you hear willow grouse cooing in the south but there aren't going to be any tracks unless it's a flightless bird. I, I don't see any tracks. And it says I'm talented at tracking. I don't know. It's late afternoon. I got to head back. I got to head back. Ugh. Thankfully, this game isn't as confusing as Dwarf Fortress, though I am struggling just as much at this point. I'm still waiting for Dwarf Fortress to come out on Steam before I play it. Still never played it. Am I north or south of my camp? Uh, I think I'm north of it. Yeah, I'm north of it. All right. Hmm. Let's check our traps. I'm sure nothing has fallen into them. Now, how do I check it? Do I just look at it? You see a set light lever trap. Yeah, and there's nothing in it. Okay. I guess we would probably see, yeah, if there was something there. There's the other one. All right, that's good. Okay, um, let me look at the track thing again. Oh, that's right. You can use the tracking skill from the wilderness map. I didn't realize that. Uh, good Golf PL, how you doing? Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a good time uh, watching the stream. Thank you. I've tried to get into Dwarf Fortress a few times, but it has always defeated me. I, I believe it. I believe it. Okay, so hold up. Not all animals believe... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it seems to take a long time to locate some tracks, there's no need to rush. Keep yourself fed, take a break, and continue again the next day. I mean, that doesn't... It's early evening, so let's go to sleep. All right. Okay, we woke up in the middle of the night. I guess I went to sleep too soon, too early in the day. Drink some water. Uh, oh, by the way, I, I, I was going to mention this at the beginning. I totally forgot. This game is free if you get it from the developer's website. It's, I think, $11 if you get it on Steam. I'm not sure what the differences are between the versions or if the versions are going to be the same. I was led to believe that the Steam version is the most up-to-date. That's what I was led to believe. So I bought it. I, and I didn't mind buying it. It was like $11, bucks, $12. Bucks. Uh, this guy, this one dude has been making this game for 28 years. I think I can throw this guy. 11 bucks or whatever. All right. 
So we're going to try to find tracks again. Let's try it from the, the wilderness map, or, or whatever they call it. Oh, we have to move further away from the water. Okay. But yeah, if you want to play it, though, and you don't, you don't have any cash, don't have nothing, get it from the guy's website. In development since 1819, yeah. All right, we're going to go way up here. Let's use the tracking skill here. You walk around a little looking for tracks. You don't notice any tracks. You don't notice any tracks. It used to be on punch cards. Yeah. Yeah, I paid the 15 on Steam. Even if I don't play it heaps, I'm happy to give the guy that much given that he's been at it for so long. Yeah. Oh, was it 15? Was it 15? Yeah. Uh, oh, or probably in Australian dollars. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Dude, it's really... It may not look like much to you, maybe. I mean, or maybe you appreciate it. I don't know. This shit is fun, man. This shit is fun. All right. I'm getting a little damn tired of not being able to find any tracks, though. You are a bit hungry. Yeah, we can live with that. That's all right. Um, you don't notice any damn tracks. And by the way, there are other people out there in the world you can not players, but there are other there are NPCs you can run into, there are people you can fight and fuck with and all that kind of stuff. Um No tracks, dude. No tracks. Okay. It's it's so weird because I guess early evening means like six o'clock or something, and we woke up like at like right around midnight or something. This is weird. Whoa! Something happened. You encounter an animal. You think it's a black grouse. Zoom in. Yeah. Look at what we've got here. Look at what we've got here, folks. I think I have to equip my arrows, too. I don't think it's enough to just, uh... Oh, shit. What am I doing? Yeah. I think I need to make one the longbow. Um... Do I just press one? How do I unwield this thing? All right, we got to look it up. It doesn't it doesn't say, does it? Exchange wielded weapons? Capital T? Capital T? Take off worn clothes. Oh, or wielded weapons. I didn't see that. Thank you very much, right? Thank you. There we go. All right, now here's the damn thing. I'm pretty sure lowercase t is how you shoot or throw things, but I don't know what kind of range I can get. Using stealth. All right, let me see if I can shoot this this thing. Uh, all right, so press T. I don't know what the, the range is.
You draw your longbow and prepare to shoot. Oh my god, you can choose what you aim for. That's awesome. Dude, that is awesome as shit. I'm gonna go for the body. You execute a steady shot. The arrow flies true at the black grouse, but the shot isn't accurate enough to hit a target that size. You narrowly miss the black grouse. The black grouse flees. The black grouse flies up into the fucking air. Bastard. You bastard. Alright, I don't think we're in stealth mode anymore. I can't, I can't catch up to him. Yeah, he's gone. Shit. Now, a grouse isn't going to leave tracks, I don't think, unless he's running around on the ground for a long time, but... You don't notice any tracks. Of course not. Right. You're getting hungry. Okay. Don't notice any damn tracks! Oh, shit! We are to the right of our camp, so we're to we're to the we're to the west of the lake. There's the lake right there. Okay. We're not that far away. You don't notice any frickin' tracks. By the way, if you if you go up onto a mountain or something like that, or like a raised elevation on this wilderness map, it'll let you see a wide expanse of the map. Hey, at least it was a narrow... <clears throat> Sorry, at least it was a narrow miss. Could be far worse. Yeah. That means hitting one is definitely a possibility, which is good. Absolutely. Um, I can't find shit. I can't find shit. I think that's an example of the of like mountain terrain that's why we can see like everything except on the other side of it i don't know anyway all right let's zoom in see where we are Wait a minute, what are the- are those mushrooms? Can we eat the mushrooms? You see two growing fancy mushrooms. Growing means they might not be ready, but... The fancy mushroom here is not ripe for harvesting yet. Son of a biatch. Is this the correct lake? I think it is. Yeah, it is. It is. There we go. Okay. Shit, we gotta eat. I'm gonna try to fish one more time, because we're about to hit the point where we're gonna start starving. Oh, man. <sighs> Didn't catch anything. Try it again. Didn't catch a thing. I wonder what it would take to make a net. I wonder. Can't make a net from that menu. Uh, da, 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 da. Where would... Wait, hold up. Make... Utility articles, maybe? Mm, nope. Make uh, tying equipment? Nah, see, I don't, know ex I don't know exactly how to make the net. And I would really like to be able to make a net for fishing. But I don't have one. You know what? Maybe it'll tell me 
Maybe it'll tell me if I if I try to use one. It's gonna say, you know, find a net, but see, I, I don't have one. What if I choose the rope? You can't fish with that. Yeah, all right. It's gotta be in here somewhere. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Even if you fail at fishing, wouldn't it be raising your skill still? That's a good question. And yes, you can, yes, you can fish with a spear, and I do have a spear. Let's try it. You didn't manage to catch any damn fish. It says your fishing expertise is just a, is just a little disturbed due to the load you're carrying. So if I'm carrying less, I might be able to be a little bit better at fishing. Good. All right. Unfortunately, though, for now, we're going to have to go ahead and stop our session for today. But let me tell you something, folks. We're going to be playing a lot of this shit. So I hope you like it.